Hello Nigerians, enough is enough. Our country just is spoiled every day, every day. Make one watch this video. As soon as they watch out, make one share out. She, is, she has compromised, therefore the case should be transferred out of her. Even at that, she refused to step down. There were motion filed. She refused to listen to the motion. She was so set, determined to be the asset person. But all I would say is a shame to the Nigerian judiciary. Judiciary was the hope of the common man. And they had to interpret the law. But for some time, since this administration came, the judiciary is not interested in interpreting the law as it is. They are interested in technicalities. So there's no truth in Nigeria. Truth is buried in Nigeria. The highest bidder takes up. I'm not surprised during uh, Buhari, this was why he tried to read the House of Judges and we are blaming him for doing that. But you can see it's even worse now. We can see the conflicting rulings and judgments. Issues that happen in the river state, why can't they handle the river state? They take them to Abuja because somebody has paid them. Somebody's building houses for them. Somebody's building road for them. So what do you expect from them? That integrity is lost. And she has demonstrated that beyond reasonable doubt, how biased, how compromised she is. She has given a judgment. That is not the end of the matter. Every case about River State, we have Court of Appeal in River State, we have Federal High Court in River State. Why are they running away from the High Court of River State? Why are they running away from the Federal High Court in River State? Why are they running away from the Court of Appeal in River State? Why are they interested in going to Abuja? My prayer is these judges should not truncate this democracy. The way they are going, they might truncate this democracy. Because a lot of people are fed up. And Mr. President is just watching. He's just watching. The people of Niger Delta are already aggrieved for even scrapping the Niger Delta ministry. The people of Niger Delta are aggrieved with the way Mr. President has given support to Wiki against the governor of River State. The John Nation is sad. The joy youths are not also happy. We don't want River State to be the burning pot of Nigeria. Uh, justice. So that is why we are saying that justice must be maintained. We must have confidence in the judiciary. Otherwise, we are inviting anarchy. River State is the seat, seat of the Nigeria oil and gas. And Niger Delta is also the seat of Nigeria oil and gas. And injury to one is injury to all. Mr. President should wake up and stop this nonsense that is going on. If you don't stop it, karma will come. The law of interpreting justice will come. How did Mr. President felt when Obasi just stopped him from his local government and stopped his resources? River State can still operate without a financial account, like Nego State did in his tenor. We have the capacity to operate, pay salaries, and do things. But if this is injustice, then people of River State will react. The Niger Delta will react. The Asian nation will react appropriately. In the eyes of the Lord, that's what I'm saying, these persons are not interested in the law. The law is very clear. The law is very clear. The constitution itself is very clear. The moment you decamp from one place to the other, to another party, other than the party that brought you, you are to vacate your seat. It's automatic. And there are several Supreme Court judgments. Besides, these persons have committed perjury. 
perjury. They have committed perjury. So to an affidavit that they have moved to APC. And another bit, they swear to another affidavit that they don't move to APC. When there are a lot of evidence, when they were singing on their mandate, when they had even declared on the floor of the house that they are moved. These are all records and evidence. And the Nigerian judiciary is having a blind eye on this crime against the Nigerian constitution. At least for you to swear an affidavit under the law is perjury and tell lies a perjury. For you to lie on oath is perjury. And yet, the law is closing the eyes. Yet, the Nigerian police force is closing its eyes. Yet, MBA is closing their eyes. The judiciary must do something. They must clean their house for them to have respect. Otherwise, they are going to destroy themselves. My message to Wiki is simple. Sim is not ready to fight him. Sim still loves him. My encounter with Sim shows that Sim still have interest in Wiki and is still protecting his interests. But there's a way you push a man to the wall and he will react. He himself said, the power of the governor he knows, said nobody should toy with Sim. He's a governor. Small, don't see him as a small boy. By the time you will react, you will know yourself. He himself confessed it in the video. If you push him too hard, he will find himself in a mess that he would never come out of it. But I'm not also surprised because the activities of WK as a whole shows the law of karma is taking place. Otherwise, Sim has no problem with him. Sim say respects him. Sim sees him as his leader. Why must he fight a boy like that? Things fall apart, said Okunko, don't touch Ikumefula. The wife of Okunko told him, you must not have hand in hand in the Ikumefula's death. He has called you father. At the end of the day, Okunko disobeyed. How did it happen? He hanged himself at the end of the day. So if he thinks he's pursuing Sim, he will end up hanging himself. He should retrace his step and make peace. Fortunately, Pandev has provided a room. Let him take advantage of Pandev Avenue and make peace in the state. You have ruled the United States for eight years. You became a local government chairman. You became chief of staff. Through the university, you became a minister, and you're back as a governor and back as a minister. What else are you looking for? What else do you need? Put give legacy behind. Don't destroy what you have done. Otherwise, you will continue to regret, even in your grave. Enough of this nonsense. Enough is enough. We can should backpedal. Otherwise, and all those following names should also know that the law is an axe. You can have both sides. The law today may favor you because you can bribe your way. It might also go against you and nobody will understand for you. Uh, some, some, some people... We can disobey several judgments as a governor because he has immunity. And they should know that somebody else can disobey law, the law, the way he's doing it. But when people want to obey the law, because without the law, there will be anarchy. We are being guided today by the law. If not the law, everybody can come out and carry a gun and do whatever he likes. But they should know that Sim is not the governor. And they can take steps that will be dangerous. In political science, that's what you call public opinion. Public opinion is a major tool in directing and correcting government. There are a lot of public opinion in the newspapers, in the television, in the radio, in the social media. Mr. President should sit back at its right time 
to analyze. It's an advice himself. Otherwise, wrong policymakers will mislead him and contest against him. I'll give an example. Most of the problems are mentioned at the River State. Most of the enemies are mentioned at we are created by Wiki when he was chief of staff. The same Wiki turned around to those people he called enemies and reconciled with them and fought against Amechi. These are life witness. We don't want the likes of Wiki misdirect the government president, make him enemies to many people, and turn around to fight him and say they want to become president. You should be watchful. You should be careful. You should look his back and know what he's doing. Mrs. Oluremi uh, Tidibu, a former senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, she understands the dynamics of Nigerian politics. And the daughters, the children, must understand the dynamics. Let them support their husband, their father, to do what is right before man and God. So that at the end of his tenure, he should beat his chest to say he moved Nigeria to a point. It's not just becoming the president that matters. What legacy are you putting behind? So that you can able to put a proper legacy that Tinubu came and changed the narratives. That is what Nigerians want to listen to. And that's what Nigerians want to say. He has time, a pool of time, to do the right thing, to change the pendulum, change the direction of the ship. Otherwise, the Nigeria vessel is going to wreck. Generally, what do you have to add to this interview? Well, I'm a Niger Delta activist, and our concern is my concern first is Niger Delta, which includes River State. Wiki should know that it's not the only man from River State, and the River's people are not happy. The people of Niger Delta should know that there is a war, there's oppression against them, and they must guide themselves. And Nigeria hunger. We must all work towards salvaging Nigeria from hunger so that we can save this country from becoming a poor country, a beggar nation. We can see Ghana, Ghana, Ghana must go, Ghana, Ghana they have one left and they are doing better. Let us not tow that line. Let us be a great nation. We are the highest economy in this country, in Africa, giant of Africa. And Lagos State alone was the fourth largest economy. So today, we are in Nigeria, in the scheme of things. At the time we beat Egypt, at the time we beat South Africa, and became number one. But where are we today? Even in oil and gas, where are we today? Mr. President, ask yourself this question and find a solution to them. National Assembly, ask yourself these questions and find solutions to them. Governor Forum, Governor's Forum, ask yourself these questions and find solution to them. And the various ministers must ask themselves the same questions. Where do we go wrong? And where are we? Where are we going? Now, return to this uh, uh, stopping of uh, the cost stopping of the location. Now, it is uh, River State and uh, Fobara. Uh, what are the implications to the go uh, governor's forum? What what, what what they do? Do they join hands with uh, uh, Fubara and fight against The Nigerian nation is seeing anarchy coming in. If they don't stop it, if they allow this trend to go, we will tell you that we cannot produce oil and we don't benefit from it. The oil will not be produced again in Nigeria. What should the governors do? They should know what to do because there will be no money for anybody when the oil stops. There will be no money for anybody when the oil production stops. So they should all look at the implications. This democracy, we must all work to save it. Whether governor, minister, president, anybody, we must work out to save this democracy. Because if anarchy comes in, and the state become ungovernable, nobody will enjoy it. We want peace in River State. We want peace in Niger Delta. Mr. President should not 
put fire in Niger Delta. We case should not be allowed to torment rivers people because we will react. When Mr. President says it was withdrawing um, subsidy, I came out strongly to tell Mr. President, you have not consulted enough to do that. That what you have done will affect the economy and it will touch every strata of the national economy. Today, Nigerians are crying. The same token, scrapping Niger Delta ministry that was gotten by Niger Delta people through their blood, is not acceptable to the people of Niger Delta. Nigerians cannot fool the Niger Delta twice or forever. Before independence, the people of Niger Delta said they would be marginalized. And the Wikisi Commission was set up. And the Wikisi Commission came up with a recommendation that there should be a Niger Delta Development Agency, which was set up in 1962. They call it Niger Delta Development Board. Later, it became a no, Niger Delta Development Authority. Later, it became a Niger Delta Board, Bridge Authority. Now, after the war, we now had the particular the Babangida administration came with several other board, board uh, river basic board authority and reduced the Niger Delta Development, Niger Delta Basic Development Authority to D class and made some A class. And the funding was given to those area more than with the Niger Deltans. The, today they have come. Again, they have development boards. But one thing they don't know, NDDC is a special agency, a special vehicle for the oil producing areas. They said they are giving us a South-South Development Authority. South-South Development can go there. But that does not mean that the Niger Delta uh, ministry should be scrapped. Even though they made the Niger Delta son, a minister, the pioneer minister of that development commission, we are not happy with it. This administration started by denying that ministry until we came and said, no, we will not accept. If we allow them to accept today, tomorrow they will scrap amnesty and nobody will happen. But I'm telling you that something will happen. If they do what they are doing continuously, Niger Delta will boil again. Don't forget in 2016, 2014, 2015, 2016, even when Yeradua was there, Niger Delta was boiling until this amnesty and this one came. Thereafter, we are migrated, and in 2016, Pandev came to untold the situation. If they think they can ignore the Niger Delta, Niger Delta will ignore them. I repeat, if Nigeria feels they can ignore Niger Delta, Niger Delta will ignore Nigeria. And the oil will not flow again. There will be no gas. There will be no oil in Nigeria. Let the gold come to the central post. Let the iron ore come to the central post. Let the other solid mineral come to the central post. Let them know the impact of that money they are getting that is sustaining us. Look at the way an NPC is going. Nigeria believes that we are nobody. And the Niger Deltans would not agree to that. Niger Deltans would not say yes to what they have done. I believe that the people of Niger Delta will react appropriately at the appropriate time. I can say Mr. President is ill-advised by whoever that is advising him. But action speaks louder than voice. He took subsidy away. Even though an NPC was the only buyer and supplier of oil who takes the subsidy on behalf of the government, 
he took subsidy away, and Nigerians today are not happy. He has taken, destroyed the Niger Delta by taking the amnesty, I mean uh, the Niger Delta Ministry, and plan, with the plan to take amnesty. He will see, he will testing the water. And I know, without anybody telling me, the Niger Delta people would not be happy and they will react. I may not support some of the actions the youths will take, but I know they will react. And when they react, maybe you will look for somebody. You will look for Pandev to come. And Pandev cannot come because the government have deceived us. The Buhari government gave us 16 point agenda. We had agreed, agreed on 16 point agenda. None of them was fulfilled. And so we know the intrigues of federal government I will not accept. We will, will never accept any deceit from any quarter of government. The people of Niger Delta will prove that oil is our own, gas is our own. Let those who suffer the brunt of it. Pollution, air pollution, underground pollution, water pollutions are suffered by us. And so if you don't attend to us, well, we'll see what will happen. Everybody in Niger Delta now knows where we are and how things are going. Let them take their actions as they feel. It's not me advising them. Our youths are there. If they're happy, fine. If they're not happy, also good. I would not advise anybody on any action. But actions. You see, that is an action. And we're expecting a counter action. If you throw a ball on the wall, it will bounce back. So we, let's see how these actions will play out. Okay. And if it's good for Nigeria, Nigerians will accept. Otherwise, Nigerians will react. We have told them so many things. Remove Belekiari, who has spent over 36 years as a as public servant, who is due to retire on the 8th of January. Remove him and put a Niger Delta person. Mr. President, it's good for him to accept it, not accept it. We have also mentioned that the MPDC, that we have an expatriates, we have enough Nigerians and Niger Delta who can manage it. But that is where they are having all the oil blocks. The retail, Niger Deltans and Nigerians can manage it. So molecular plan, we don't know. The frontier exploration is another major issue that the Niger Deltans are watching. We have a lot of crude oil, over 200 or something billion barrel of crude oil underground reserved which means even if we are lifting four million barrel per of crude oil per day we will not finish it in the next hundred years you don't talk about it we have over 370 cubic feet of a trillion cubic feet of gas that even if you are taking gas as much as we want we we'll still have the money you will spend here to explore more gas field or to explore more crude oil where you have reserve you don't do it you are going to the north where you don't have if i tell you how much money they are spent in gombe and other places in saying they are looking for oil and gas and that they have seen oil Zamfara, everywhere. The Sokoto, they are looking for oil. They have seen the oil. We have not seen, Nigerians have not seen. Yet, every year, 30% of NPC profit is going there. Where we have enough reserve, you are not tapping it. You are not making us happy for you to get more, more gas and oil. You are going to where you don't have access. You are going to where you have book around that insecurity is also there. And that is where you are sending money billions of dollars to explore oil. We are watching. Nigerians are watching.